Hi guys, it's great to be back. Um, I wanted to bring up a couple of things that have been happening over the last little while just to keep you informed and show you what's been actually happening um, at the moment and there's some fun things. I took a bit of a break too, I needed a holiday, it was only a, a week but uh, you know when you come back from a little bit of a break it doesn't mean the work stops that you're away, it means when you get back there's more to do. So um, I've been a little bit uh, focused on all the other things that have been going on. Um, and one of those things have been that I'm starting a non-profit to do some of these projects that I have uh, planned and I, after much thought, uh, consideration and discussion with other people, I've realized that I need to relook at it and I need to relook at how it's possible to do it. And one thing is for sure, I don't think a non-profit is the right vehicle for it to happen. I think it needs to happen through business means or support or even business that joins with us to make things happen. So, but I think a non-profit creates um, a strange value system uh, where we're dependent on donations to make something happen. When I look at these things, I realize actually we don't want to uh, create some sort of um, handout system and we don't want to rely on uh, donations particularly in that way. I think there must be a place for that and there will be a, an avenue hopefully that we can do that. I've been looking at um, a few avenues in which to do that. One is Patreon, the other is to look at other ways that we can actually uh, put something together to raise funds for projects. But um, I don't think opening a whole new avenue for a non-profit is exactly the right way to go. Um, firstly, um, I think there's dignity in people using their skill and to be able to be paid for that and to be able to earn a living from doing their music and doing their skill and their art. Um, and as you know, I've got other groups as well that I want to um, see supported and things happen, but I just don't think that the non-profit way is the way to go. Um, but um, that's the first thing. And secondly, you'll notice that we have uh, stopped the cello lessons um, with uh, Kamo. Um, I stopped those because uh, we learned from this season that uh, transport, as I highlighted, transport was an issue. And in South Africa, it's a major issue. Um, it just costs so much to get around for people that are living on a tight budget and it became just too much. So we have had to bring that to a close. I know that she learned a lot and I know that her father is able to take it further with her and we'll check in with her from time to time to see how it's going with her. But unfortunately after, I think we did 10 weeks but on videos, but I think it was 13 weeks um, in total and she learned a lot in that time and I think she benefited a lot but um, it's no point without being able to actually track the progress uh, to follow that system going forward. Um, what we are looking at is maybe highlighting other projects so um, we're going to learn from that and see how we can do it. This morning even I met with um, Rock School um, leadership. Rock School is like Royal School in Trinity but it's another uh, examining body that's recognized internationally and we're going to look into how we can maybe showcase some of their products and what we are busy teaching using that um, examination and they've got some other things we'd like to develop so I think it's a good way to dive into it to maybe do a similar thing but using a program like Rock School to showcase it. Obviously if there are certain things that are challenges then we have to relook at it and see, well, how can we overcome those challenges and make it better? It's not stopping. Um, I think that was our first take. We've got to learn from it and continue going, and then we'll be able to do something like that. I also started a band with some of the guys in the, in, uh, the music school, people you've known from this channel already. And I'm excited about it, but in the same sense, it's been a rough year for a lot of musicians and a lot of people and uh, musicians were hit um, as hard as anyone else and quite frankly I think we're going to have to take a re-look at that in the new year um, and just see where we stand with everything 
and how people's situations have changed. But uh, we've certainly got a lot of talent around. It's how we, how we measure that out and make it accessible um, to those around us and to yourselves as well. So I'm excited about it. Let's chat, uh, keep the conversation going and see what can come out of it. Things haven't stopped. It just took a bit of a break because of the intensity of work and the fact that I had to take a little break. Um, and in that break, I've got a little bit more energy to see me through to the end, to the end of the year. So excellent, thanks so much. I'll speak to you soon. Just wanted to give you an update. All the best, ciao.